Hi, Cody. So I just wanted to share that I've been having a lot of fear and unworthiness come up around having miracles. Like it's the miracles are coming in, and now it's this whole wealth of I don't know, just some kind of void or something that's scary to look at and to go into. And I was just hoping you could talk about that. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's something that all of us go through when we start to have mir miraculous experiences in our life. And it's just, it's, they are mind-blowing. They just, they totally transcend anything that you've had before. But, but the fear is coming from the unworthiness. It's like the unworthiness to, to behold them, to receive them, to fully participate in them. It's this deep-seated unworthiness that somehow we're not worthy of that, that love. And I, I work with different people over many, many years. Um, a friend of mine, Kathy Martin, worked with me for five years. And I remember when I was in, off in South America, I think she, she just sprained her ankle or something. And, and we talked over, over the phone and she just said, my gosh, this, this unworthiness runs so deep. You know, even what we would say physical injuries or psychological states of suffering and pain. Uh, they're all, like you might say, offshoots of this root belief in unworthiness. So, the reason we need the miracles is to wash away the unworthiness. We need new experiences that contradict our self-concept, that contradict this very limited, unworthy sense of self that we've had. And it's true that, you know, the things that we think we're afraid of in the world and even when people talk about relationships and fear of sexual intimacy, that's not it. There's, there's a fear of dropping the mask and experiencing what happens when that mask is entirely dropped. There's the fear of our own power, the fear of the power of our mind, the power of thought. It's, it's a fear that somehow this deeply rooted belief that we've miscreated or we've misused our power and it was such a frightening experience of believing we had misused power that we pushed it out of awareness and said, never again will I be empowered. Never again will I know who I truly am and the, and the magnitude that I really am. The ego is like saying, yep, you can play small and I'll tell you how to get good at playing small. It doesn't even care if you play big small. like." You become a famous person and you think you're big, but you're still a big small. You know, you're, you're, now you're a big person, a famous person, an adored person, a, a, a respected person, an admired person. The ego's still sitting back there going, that's good, that's big small, that's good. You're big small now. You know, it's, it's just a tricky combination. So, ultimately, you know, that's really why you came here, Cody. You came here to, to, to let up that unworthiness. And ultimately, like we've talked about in relationships and fear of relationships, that's where the fear is coming from because, you know, to open yourself to the Spirit's use of relationship is to open yourself to the end of the ego. The ego cannot defend when you give over a relationship to the Spirit and let it be used for the Spirit's purpose. That's the fast track. That's like the super, super fast track to awakening is through that. And, and you can tell, that's when we've talked, that's where the ego is coming in going, whoa, Nelly, <laughs> don't even go near that one. But that's what it's all about, it's just unworthiness. So it's my job to keep reminding you of how worthy you are. I get to do it all the time. <laughs> it's a great job. Too. It's a lot of fun. <laughs>